How did Anti-Fragile make a significant impact on readers' minds? Let's dig deep into it. In this video, I will give you a summary of the renowned book Anti-Fragile by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. Anti-Fragile explores opacity, chance, uncertainty, human error, risk, and decision-making in an unfamiliar world. Who is Nassim Taleb? Nassim Nicholas Taleb began his career on Wall Street as a derivatives trader, but he openly criticizes the financial industry's favored models. Fooled by Unpredictability, The Black Swan, and Anti-Fragile are three best-selling books by Nassim Taleb that explore the nature of complexity, randomness, and a world where uncommon occurrences predominate. Taleb is the original eccentric genius behind these works. Let us take a look at what people have to say about this book. Anti-Fragility is a standalone book in Nassim Taleb's landmark Inserto series. The Economist, Fortune, Los Angeles Times, Newsweek, and many others praise Anti-Fragility. Ambitious and thought-provoking, highly entertaining, The Economist. A bold book explaining how and why we should embrace uncertainty, randomness, and error. It may just change our lives. Newsweek. Anti-fragility isn't just sound economic and political doctrine. It is also the key to a good life. Fortune. At once thought-provoking and brilliant. Los Angeles Times. The main theme of this book is anti-fragility. The question is, what is anti-fragility? Taleb tells us in his book that some things benefit from shocks. They live and grow when they're exposed to volatility, randomness, disorder, and stressors, and love the risk of uncertainty. Yet, despite the omnipresence of the phenomenon, there is no word for the exact opposite of fragile. Let us call it anti-fragile. Anti-fragility is beyond resilience or robustness. The resilient resists shocks and remains the same, and the anti-fragile gets better. Nassib Taleb explains fragility, anti-fragility, and robustness with ancient examples of Damocles, the Phoenix, and the Hydra. Fragile is like Damocles who is frail, dining with a sword hanging over his head. Robust is the one who is like the Phoenix. Phoenix is a bird with splendid colors. Whenever it is destroyed, it is reborn from its ashes. Anti-fragility is exemplified by mythological metaphor Hydra each time its one head is cut off to grow back. How to live an anti-fragile life Anti-fragile is the one who thrives from shocks instead of breaking and gets benefits from a chaotic world. As Nassim Taleb said in his book, anti-fragility implies more to gain than to lose, equals more upside than downside, equals favorable asymmetry. Taleb in his book gives the core principles of how can we live anti-fragile life. Few of them are Stick to simple rules Build yourself in redundancy and layers No single point of loss Resist the urge to suppress randomness. Make sure that your soul is in the game. Experiment and play around. Take lots of small risks. Avoid risks that, if lost, would wipe you out completely. Don't get consumed by data. Keep your options open. Focus on avoiding things that can't work rather than trying to find out what does work. Respect the old. Look for habits and rules that have been around for a long time. How anti-fragility depends on fragility. The anti-fragility of a system depends on the fragility of its constituent parts. Shocks and stresses make the anti-fragile system stronger by causing them to develop more capacity. Systems become fragile in calm circumstances. Anti-fragility results from turbulence. We can explain this by giving examples of human nature, harnesses, and competition. The human body, like pretty much everything you see in nature, is also anti-fragile. When you apply stress to the system, it gets stronger as bones of the human body get tenser when episodic stress is applied to them. Hormesis explains anti-fragility. Hormesis is a small stressor, more like a vaccination. It occurs when an unhealthy chemical or stressor is present at just the appropriate intensity to stimulate the organism and improve its health and readiness for the next exposure to a more potent dosage. Competition is a necessary stressor as the greatest horses struggle against slower opponents and triumph against stronger ones. The finest among us may be degraded by a lack of challenge. Let us talk about three important lessons to learn from Anti-Fragile by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. The first lesson. The more fragile an item becomes, the more chances there are for it to break upon stress, while anti-fragile items get stronger from it. Let us dig deep into the meaning of this lesson to have a clearer understanding. We have seen many times that boxes with glass bottles inside are often labeled as, this item is fragile, handle with care. The very fact that fragile things takes no time to break when you shake them and toss them around 
But have you ever thought about the term describing not so fragile things? Maybe the words like robust or durable, but these terms mean that it can resist shocks. Guess what? Nassim Tal beautifully describes these phenomena and assigns the word anti-fragile. Describing the meaning of this word, he added that anti-fragile is the term used for things that thrive in volatile environments. When these things are placed under pressure despite getting worse, they get better. Just like diamonds are made when they undergo pressure. Similarly, you will evolve into a beautiful diamond. The more you thrive in chaos, the more anti-fragile you become. So every time you get hurt or fall, you're getting stronger. This was a valuable lesson indeed. Second lesson. Let me explain to you how important it is to escape from your fragility. Otherwise, the only option left is to suffer. An anti-fragile system normally possess many fragile fragments. Interesting, isn't it? Don't get confused. We will explain it all. Evolution is an incredible example. As we know, we have evolved from our ancestors based on the genetic features and traits which help us survive. For example, our hands evolve big time. With time, our genetic code morphed and today we have hands that can hold tools well. So for a whole system to be anti-fragile, the parts must be fragile, as this allows us to get better than before and let us thrive in a chaotic environment. Now let's talk about the third lesson, which is anti-fragile systems build up capacity when they're put under extreme stress and pressure. But the point to ponder is how this capacity is built up. How is it done? I will explain this point by giving an example from real life so that you can relate. Have you ever noticed that whenever you went to the gym and lift those heavy weights, you feel the burn, but every time you push yourself to do one more rep, the real growth happens, that is when you build your capacity. The weak muscles broke down at the time you feel that burn, and this failure is reported to the nervous system. As a result, you end up building stronger muscles and your body is now prepared to handle even bigger shocks better. That is how extreme stress and pressure can prepare your body to handle even bigger stress by building capacity. I hope you enjoy these top three lessons. Now, let us get into the details of the chapters presented in this book. The chapter one, between Damocles and Hydra. This chapter talks about a very interesting phenomenon that is anti-fragile, gets stronger with the disorder. This is very different from fragile things that break under pressure. This graph depicts that as you move towards anti-fragility, the strength increase and the strength decreases as you move towards fragile. This anti-fragility principle can be applied in many domains, not just in medicine, but economics too. But unfortunately, humans are domain dependent and only recognize principles in their domain. Moving forward, let me summarize chapter two for you that is overcompensation and overreaction everywhere. In this chapter, the writer explains very beautifully the importance of chaos in our grooming that is the energy release due to a setback creates innovation. But if you think deeper, the opposite of this phenomenon is not enough problems create danger by making us weak. In the comfort zone, the familiar has less opportunity for growth and strength. For example, the autopilot mode makes the plane safe. As a result, the pilots do not pay much attention, and the chances of an accident increase. This principle is called overcompensation, which is present everywhere. Chapter 3 talks about the cat and the washing machine. To become anti-fragile, you have to break at some point. Many things created by humans are anti-fragile, like the economy, business, etc. The problem is humans consider them to be fragile. The reason why is that we do not understand them completely and we thought of them as complex. Complex systems are the ones having independences, which means if any of the units are taken out, the consequences are far greater. But on the contrary, the non-complex systems are the ones in which change is predictable. He further explains that the terms complex and complicated are not the same. It is not always the case that complex things are complicated. Therefore, when we make these systems less sensitive to stressors, they become more and more anti-fragile. Chapter 4 further explains what kills me makes me stronger. In a system, the sacrifice of some units is often necessary for the well-being of the whole. The extinction of species is part of the game and makes room for evolution. So when the entire species dies, the species with much better and evolved characteristics is born. The errors are equally important and much needed to become anti-fragile. The sacrifice of one unit makes the whole system stronger. A very relatable real-life example is Titanic. If the Titanic has not sunk, we will not be making newer, safer and more advanced boats. The Titanic saved so many bigger boats from sinking. Similarly, when one plane crashes, the lessons are learned from it 
and saves us from so many future incidents. That is why it is important to take risks, make mistakes, and learn from them to become anti-fragile and escape suffering. After viewing this video, I'm sure this book will be on your reading list. And I hope you guys will not try to escape from chaos despite thriving on them to become anti-fragile, as success lies in anti-fragility. Do share your views about this video in the comment section. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.